And um, I've been using fluorocarbon for, gosh, since it got popular, before it got popular. I've been using it. I was one of probably the first guys who used it in the U.S. Uh, I, I forget how long ago it was, but, you know, over 10 years ago. And um, I, I tried, I tied, I'll, I'll just start talking about it. I tied Palomars back then, and, and I used to pop it off a lot. And uh, I have some Japanese friends that kind of on tour and stuff, you know, Koda. I mean, and some of the guys that fish, they know a lot of technical stuff and, and probably from the Jap Japan, you know. But to make a short, uh, long story short, uh, I get a lot of uh, Japanese catalogs and magazines, and I have, uh, and that was a lot, there's a lot of guys back east that still use a Palomar. Van Dam's one of them. Um, he's one of the biggest guys that still uses a Palomar on fluorocarbon. And uh, four or five times I've taken his baits and snapped them off just to show them, I know, I, throughout, the, throughout the years, because I, I know him well. And I'll take his crankbait and just pop it. And then I'll tie my knot on, and, and it's heavy line, you feel it, it's like 16 or something, I'll just pop it off. And I'll tie mine on and actually kind of do the same thing, but it doesn't break. And I'll do it four or five times, and then I'll just give it to him. <laughs> and he still does it. He still does a Palomar. But um, <laughs> I've, I've never seen a Palomar knot in a, in a Japanese uh, brochure magazine ever. I, I don't even talk about it. Like, they have all these knots. I'll have a whole page of knots, like eight, ten different knots, how to do them, you know, even two pages. I've never seen them illustrate a Palomar. So that, that's, how, that's how against it they are. But... It, you know, you're losing 10 to 20% of knot strength, and I can show you guys, you know, I'll be here as long as you guys want. I don't have to fly out till tomorrow, but um, I'll show you some knots I got. <laughs> uh, the one thing I can tell you, uh, there's a lot of good knots, and slick. they don't really, they're, they're actually specified as uh, like slips, like nooses, like a, like a hangman noose is basically what it is. Uh, on fluorocarbon, anything that kind of cinches down and doesn't bind is a, is a, good, knot, is a good way to connect your bait to fluorocarbon. So... There's not really that many knots. I mean, there's only a Palomar. The rest of, the rest of them are actually slips. Like, there's a Trilane, there's a, like a San Diego, uh, improved clinch. I mean, they're all kind of similar. Um, there's some easy ones I can show you that I used to tie that are really good. They're way better than a Palomar, but they're less consistent. And I'm all about consistency, and I don't want to, like, risk, uh, you know, having a, an overlap somewhere and snapping off a big fish. Because I, I do pull so hard, I need a perfect knot. So the one I use is a Uni. And I double the line, make a big loop, and then I tie it, which I can show you later. Um, one of the things I can tell you on, on those slips is you've got to do a lot, of, a lot of wraps. So minimum, of, to me, I think about six, six wraps. And uh, if you use like two pound or three pound for trout, which I do sometimes, I use like eight wraps. Just like, because it's, almost, it's literally almost 100%. You're up, up in the high 90s, 98, 99% knot straight. Um, the same thing with braid. Uh, braid of the line, I use like a, anywhere from 10 to 14 wraps. The lighter I, the lighter I go, the more wraps I do. Um, you know, braid, the, the fluorocarbon knot, you'll notice, especially on the heavier lines, they'll be a little big, but it's never affected the way they hit it, and it's so strong that that's all I use. Um, and uh, I do the connect the fluorocarbon to the braid with the same knot. You just do two of them. So I, I can show you some of that stuff later. Hi, I'm Aaron Martins here with Limit Out Marine in Washington, and I'm going to show you my knot that I use, and it's an old, you know, old saltwater knot. It's called a uni, and uh, you, know, you can call it a marizo knot. Marizo takes a little bit of credit for it, but I think you know, a lot of saltwater guys always double their knots. So basically, it's a uni knot doubled uh, with the line doubled, and it makes it, it makes you able to do it on a, a drop shot rig. You know, if you do it singly, you have a long tag in, but if you double it, you have a short loop. So right here I have some high color, high vis braided line and a, a really big hook so you can see good. And probably right in this area is good for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, this is, pretend this is my main line here, it's gonna be longer. Take it and uh, double it up. And what I do is I take, when I take that loop and double up with, with fluorocarbon or braid too, it works good with everything. Um, I usually give it a little pinch. So, you know, obviously this is big stuff and it's a big hook, but with smaller lines, I just give a pinch so it's easy to get in the eye of the hook. Once I do that, you're gonna slide it like so. Give yourself enough line. Um, that's the most important thing you wanna do is, you know, don't give yourself like that much as you'll make it really hard on yourself. You know, give yourself, especially starting out with this knot, give yourself a lot of, a lot of material to work with. So here's your main line, the tag right here. I'm going to grab it like so, 
And then usually by now, I grab my main line, or my tag in, which is a loop that came through. I made that loop. I'm going to grab this loop and slide the hook up, holding this piece, the tag in, and the main line. And with my, other, with my same hand, that's the hardest part about this knot you're going to find is hand position. And I take my right hand and my pinky, and wherever finger this is called, and then hold it there, hold it tight. So I'm not really holding the hook. The hook, I'm just holding where the eye is at. And then you take these two fingers on the right hand. This is how I do it. You might have a better way. And when I take it, I, I, I uh, kind of turn it downwards. And this just makes it easier to do your loops. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, gonna, I'm holding it with both hands. And you're going to have to watch this video over and over again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up. My loop's a little long, but... And if you're following, and anywhere between six and seven or eight wraps on fluorocarbon. This is only like five wraps, but um, braided lines, you know, lighter stuff, I use 12 wraps, and the heavy stuff, I use like 10 to 11 or even 12 wraps. But it's really good with braid. It's, it's really good with the fluorocarbon, but this is the strongest knot I've found so far. And, you know, if there's better one out there, please let me know. But this is the strongest knot I've found. And, uh, it really is close to 100% knot strength. So you saw how I just cinched that tight, kind of pulled on the hook a little bit, pulled on the main line and the loop a little bit at the same time. And once you cinch it down like so, you want to make sure, see that little piece, how it kind of made a loop, you want to make sure you pull those at the same time. And you can fix this now. If you mess it up, you can usually fix it. But you want to, now I'm pulling the tag in and the main line, and you just slide it down. So it's actually not really called a knot, this is called a cinch. And once you get to that point, you cinch it down really tight, and it makes a really nice tight knot. And when you're done, you're going to cut the loop and the tag end off, and that leaves you with a nice tight uni. And that's it. Just practice makes perfect. It takes a long time to be efficient at it. But once you are, it's actually as fast as a Palomar. I've, I've kind of timed it with some of the anglers back east, and uh, Kevin Wiggins, or no, it was one not Kevin Wiggins, it was uh, well, I forgot his name, but he uh, <laughs> he's like not there anymore. But he uh, he he tied, he was really good at the Palomar. We tied our knots together, and, and mine was the same time as his, and he ties a Palomar all the time. So once you get a fish net, it isn't that much more time to tie it, and it's a lot stronger. Try it out.